Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are talking about Amazon's brand new lesbian show, Tampa Bays. And they actually dropped the entire first season today, Friday, November 5th. And I'm going to be doing this video talking about the first episode, but then also talking about who each of the cast is because there's 12 of them, there's quite a lot and talking about some things they revealed in the show, some things that a few of them told me behind the scenes, and also things that I heard in general, I've heard through the Tampa grapevines, and I've also just read on the internet. So let's get right into it. And if you are interested in seeing the plethora of Tampa Bay's videos I'm gonna be making over the next few days, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my content about the L Word, Tampa Bay's, Dexter, The Morning Show, Succession, Grey's, Station 19, and a ton of other shows. So also, if you enjoy the video at any point, leave a big thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And also make sure you let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I'm sure you have all these bullshit ideas of what it's like here. But whatever you think Tampa's reputation may be, it's nothing like you'd expect. You have beaches, you have nightlife, you have a diverse population from all over. That, that is all really true, uh, you know, like I said, I lived in Tampa for a really long time, high school, university, grad school, working, and I lived there from 2004 to 2014, so it's been a significant time since I've lived there. As one of the Tampa Bays pointed out, I am old. <laughs> And I did live there a while ago. So, you know, when I lived there, gay, like gay marriage wasn't legal when I started going out there. And a lot of the places, you know, the bars and things, like I went to the opening nights of these places. You have beaches, you have nightlife, you have a diverse population from all over, and you have a super progressive LGBTQ scene. Especially when it comes to the lesbians. Yeah, South Tampa, for sure. The lesbian scene in Tampa is incredible. But I, think but I feel like so many places are like that. Like, in, in reality, you know, like, and, and lesbian scenes, of course. Like, I feel like anywhere I've lived, and I've lived in a fucking lot of places, that the the gay and lesbian scene is always like everybody knows everybody and it's like the chart you know i'm puppy i've been living in orlando for the past year but i just moved back to tampa and i'm recently single so i'm ready to get back in the scene <laughs> So I spoke to Cuppy a little bit on DM. She seems super cool. She didn't call me old, so <laughs> already tick. And she, she's a nurse too, which I think is awesome. Throughout the episode, she talks about like moving back from Orlando and like Orlando is like an hour away. <laughs> but, you know, obviously like it's not somewhere that's like super quick to zip back and forth from. So... I I really enjoyed this perspective that they kind of used her as like, okay, she's moving back. So that is how everybody's like coming together sort of thing. Because obviously the first episode, they have to introduce you to everyone. And although it does feel a bit like, and this is this person and this is this person, it's a reality show. So it, it's not like there's a storyline that you can like organically bring everyone in. But I did think they did a good job of, of that, of like introducing everyone. And especially because there's like three couples and there's 12 cast members, like that's a lot. And at the end of the episode, I feel as though maybe I couldn't name every single one of them, but I knew like, okay, this one's dating this one. And like, these are these friends. And it, it, it made sense. If you go out in Tampa, you're definitely gonna run into Haley and Brianna. They like to think of themselves as the queen bees of the lesbian scene. You're definitely gonna see them out of the so box. The, this is what I did not like, was they, the, like this couple, Haley and Brianna, they talk about them as like, 
they're the it co- like I just think that's so like high school and this couple actually they're the reason that there is a show because you'll go on to see like their house is like amazing and they seem to have a lot of money and I I like looked into them and I, I mean I got this impression immediately that it's like family pe- you know money situation and it seems like Brianna's family has like a there's like a Murphy's Motel and like Murphy's Doodle and yeah it's like she she describes she describes herself as like a real estate investor and you'll I'll talk about it when you see it when you see it or even having parties at their house (laughs) the other couple in Tampa is Summer and Marissa they're just as well known on the scene as Haley and Brianna like what like (laughs) just don't get this like it couple thing like it's I've never ever in my entire life where in the plethora of places I've lived I've never heard any adult <laughs> woman describe themselves as someone in an it couple but may, you know maybe maybe I'm old so and of course there's always some kind of drama about who's on top and who's friends with who they're dead to me bitch shut the fuck up you better get a hold of your bitch Summer does not fuck with you you're a snake and I don't trust anything you say I fucking will <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Things can get clicky in our friend group. Oh, there are definitely people that are a little bit closer to Haley and Brianna. And some people are closer to Summer and Marissa. See, I thought like this, it, it was good the way that they were like ex- like explaining the friend group. It, you see this throughout the episode, like who is closer to who and like when they like, you know, have fights or anything like that. <laughs> And then there are people that try to get along with everyone. That's the one that called me old. <laughs> I know I keep it, but like it, it's, uh, you know, it's all good fun. It's all good fun. She, I spoke to her over DMs and, and she seems like a nice person. And I'll, I'll talk more about her when they introduce her. <laughs> I try not to take sides. I try to stay out of the drama. I feel like whenever we all get together in the big group, issues. I'm so excited to be back in Tampa. All my closest friends are here and I've been gone for way too long. I'm ready to have fun, hang out, have a good time. See, I think that that was like a, a really good intro and I'm gonna get like technical film nerd here but I, I really like the way this is filmed too. Like it, it's not just typical reality TV. Like, you know, it's, I, I really like it and I like the way they they do like their talking heads and like incorporate them and stuff and then I like how they're using the b-roll at the start and stuff I, I know that this is like boring for some people but but I really like that so now we're going to go through like each character introduction and then I'll talk a bit about like the other stuff that I've seen about them so this is the it couple <laughs> one of the it couples one of the the queen bees <laughs> so fucking weird. Okay, Murphy, I am a real estate investor. I'm Haley, I'm her business partner. I've never heard anyone <laughs> say AKA Murphy, like AKA. This is weird. We've been dating for six years. And I feel like we clicked off the bat as soon as we met each other. You're like my soulmate, I feel like. Probably gone now. I know, but I don't really like want a snake to come out during the party. I feel like that's kind of like a. Oh my gosh, yeah. Tampa snake problems. So the these are a couple, and they're the people that the pitch the show. You know, I'm sure there was some sort of like connection or money or something involved, because I mean, yeah, the like, <laughs> and this couple seems to be the only ones that are like family rich people I don't know how much work is involved with with like their lives but everybody else seems like I say normal but they they have very good jobs but they're like nurses and things like that like they're they're not you know living in these million dollar homes because this couple like when you see their house it's it's not just a nice house like it's fucking gorgeous and everything in it is like super super like expensive 
and I I like looked into them a bit and the Brianna her family has like multiple businesses there's like a motel one there's like a dog company and they're the reason I said this before that the the sh- the show exists because I mean when your family like is and, and obviously like I don't know all their business but that it certainly seems as though their family facilitates their lifestyle and their income and everything and and so when you are in this fortunate position where your family business or your family's paying for things or buying houses or whatever it is then you can do things like pursue a reality tv show because I think Brianna it says she was like acting and then Haley was modeling so you know I, I again like I don't know their entire situation but they seem to be the only ones that are like you know rich from family money everybody else seems to have like a job that they've done well at and a lot of them seem to be like quite diversified because Cuppy like she has a lot of followers on Instagram so I kind of looked into because everybody else like just has like normal follower amounts pretty much the I think these ones do from there like modeling and stuff but uh, Cuppy I read that she has like a fitness thing and that she used to like have struggles with her weight and she lost weight and she she's like done a whole like weight loss program too and she's a nurse and she's bartending and she's in nurse practitioner school like that's fucking impressive so like the other day when I was looking at the trailer I thought that they were all gonna be like this couple like all you know working (laughs) but not you know like not really but it seems as though these are the only ones that have family money and and everybody else is actually working so I'm pleased about that because again I don't think that's that's relatable Uh, so I do like like most there's a lot I think there's three nurses like that's fucking great like that's what I want to see real fucking women real fucking lesbians out there killing it in the working world I have no interest in just watching people like you know spending money and like having brunch and then having lunch so (laughs) our house is definitely the lesbian party spot we got the pool we got the pool table yeah like look at this house and like the neon even like these these neon lights like this is like a shitty little one from amazon and and it's tiny but i looked into getting like an ash silver one for behind and even just for ash silver it it was like nearly like a it was over a thousand dollars so even the fucking lights and that like and they have like 50 of them so but everything like the everything it can it's it's all super like high class that's the big gay wonderland (laughs) i moved here from alabama about three years ago i bartend i'm either serving at a bar or getting served at a bar but (laughs) One this time my sweet. friend told me that I'm the most irresponsible, responsible yeah, like, person he's ever met. I came down here in a relationship with my ex. She wasn't so crazy about moving down here, but I was very, like, hell-bent on it. Yo, it's Mac. Uh, some people call me Sarah, but I go by Mac. I- See, that's, like, a normal way to say if you have a nickname, like, I'm Sarah, but some people call me Mac. Not, I'm Sarah, a.k.a. Mac. <laughs> I am a Tampa native. I'm a passionate person. I am a Virgo to the T. Okay, so this is apparently the the other it couple, <laughs> the the rivals or whatever. I, I do not get this. I mean, also this to give them the benefit of a doubt. This could be manufactured for the show. I, I really find it hard to believe that people speak this way, but. Also, work in the med spa industry. Can I say that again? Because I just stuttered on it. I had too much caffeine. My name is Marissa. I'm a nurse. So she's a makeup artist, and then her girlfriend's a nurse. And I work in downtown St. Pete. We've been together for. Wait, hold on. November, December, three and January. Half-ish, maybe? Three and a half. A little over three and a half yeah. years, actually. When when she started counting, like, the months, I thought she was going to say, like, three and a half months or something. But come on, it's lesbians. Like, anything is possible. So, But they've been together for quite a while. So. 
they're both like really really pretty when we first started dating i mean we were in a long distance relationship i met her and i was just starting nursing school and nursing school is a real bitch it helps to have a mature partner that doesn't constantly validation i love summer more than anything in this world so i've just never loved somebody like i love you i always find it really jarring when they put like a lot of this like cell phone footage and and things in comparison to like what the, the cameras have picked up because it shows you how much people filter fucking everything because there's some bits here where they'll show like multiple you know scenes that that are on cameras and I, because it's the first episode and I don't know them all super well yet I'm like which one is that because it doesn't it doesn't look like that because it's so filtered like I just don't don't get like we're going into this place where like people filter everything so much that you don't even know what the person actually looks like like I know anyone anyone has seen that woman on TikTok who like it takes out her teeth and like it's just crazy like some people look so different and I understand like people you know want things to look good but it, it, it just goes too far and then we're getting so used to seeing everything filtered that like when people put normal pictures up like I don't really put filters on anything because I just feel like then when people see me in real life they're gonna be like whoa so that's the one thing I will say like all 12 of them are fucking gorgeous like they're all stunning and they're also being like all professionally lit and like some of them are makeup artists and I'm sure they've all had their makeup professionally done like they don't need f filters and so I, I know like I'm not helping the old situation here by saying this but they, it really is not needed and it starts to look fake too like I, I, I just think it looks better without the filters so this place white lie is is in ebor and i i did read that they used to go to honey pot a lot which i remember when the honey pot opened and uh, but apparently I, I haven't been back to tampa in, in in ages because of obviously and i usually go back like three or four times a year but apparently the honey pot hasn't been open since the pandemic or wasn't open when they were filming or something so that's why they've they've been going to this one a lot but but i think they go there a lot too he nicknamed it gay board see the gay board i am a trauma nurse i'm not currently working in the hospital right now i'm actually a nurse practitioner school and i am also a strip club bartender see that's fucking awesome i haven't seen my lesbians in what feels like forever it's been months moving back here from orlando Again, orlando is literally like not even an hour away <laughs> my name is shiva i'm a microbiologist i'm currently this is the one that called me old <laughs> in school getting my master's degree but that's fucking awesome too i spend most of my time hanging out with my friends if there's a really really pretty girl i want to hit on her what's up like if you want to give me a shot usually there's some uh drama with this group it's a small town some people just don't get along sometimes i get a little involved just because i try to be like the peacemaker when you do that like you're stepping on some feet when you're not picking a side jordan i am a traveling icu nurse and i Another just nurse. relocated awesome. to tampa i'm the labrador of the group if you poke at my family then i might bite but outside of that i'm just the lovable weird one i've been travel nursing for the past year during a pandemic it has been insane i'm also in a relationship now we are seven months in and this is the happiest healthiest relationship i've ever been in but we are still long distance i'm not willing to give up the relationship that i'm in just because we happen to live in different states i guess that her girlfriend must be like private or maybe for something for her job or something because i thought it was just odd that they didn't show like pictures of her and her girlfriend but maybe like she doesn't want to be on the show or something like that so it's jordan and shiva's birthday so they're having a, a joint party at brianna and and Haley's house so it's y2k themed which i thought that was a, re a really good idea i i, I think it was cool 
your hair or is that a wig? <laughs> I'm Mel. I live in St. Pete. I'm a local artist and muralist in the area. I'm Nellie. I am so this is the third couple. I am a permanent makeup artist. She owns this place called Nellie's Brow Bar. And, and then obviously Marissa's a makeup artist. Allie's in real estate. And then there's a lot of nurses and Shiva's microbiologist. So like all really good jobs and and like I love that they actually like all have jobs. <laughs> I'm Allie, I'm in real estate, and yeah, this is my gorgeous girlfriend. No. I'm six years. <laughs> six years, baby. You guys want a drink? Oh, uh, yes. yes. What up, bitches? I think that Allie and Nellie seem like a very cool, like easygoing, they, they seem like a nice couple. So the Y2K party, it, it looked really cool. They had like um, lap dances for, for the two birthday girls and it, it looked like a nice fun party. And then all of a sudden, like, I don't know whether it was like, oh, we need to, you know, have drama in the episode or what. But they, all of a sudden, uh, Marissa and Summer, which I am totally remembering their name because of like Summer and Marissa from the OC and they're a couple together. So they are like, oh, let's go out, let's go out. And then it all starts to like kick off for some reason. So they're all like leaving. And then, you know, one of them says to Marissa about, driving and if she's drank and she's like I'm a nurse like I haven't drank of course I haven't drank and and then like the Brianna and and Haley because it's like their house then they're like pissed the the people are leaving and I mean it seems to be like they're setting instigating setting up this whole Summer and Marissa and Brianna and Haley thing again. Don't be a child and take your anger out on where it belongs. Come at me. If we walk out and people follow us, that's not my problem. You don't compete where you can't compare. Brutal. Fucking brutal. I just know that we were supposed to go to the bar. We're trying to call Ubers and Lyfts. And I think some words were exchanged. That's a mess. I feel like there's always like an abrupt ending to parties at Murph's and Haley's. That's like our norm. Maxi, and she decided to pull out her phone without telling me. You want me to shut the fuck up and not say nothing back? I I don't, I honestly, I'm so, you don't know me and I don't know you and I have not disrespected you or not allowed with you either. or nothing. So I feel like you are, and when I say you have gotten very hot. Okay, so th this was really weird. They're, they're all going to white lie and this argument is still like, I, I guess like Marissa is still like venting about, you know, the argument. And Mac, who in that little montage at the beginning, apparently she's more friendly with um, Brianna and, and Haley and Marissa's like going off. And then Shiva has like recorded them like I mean I want to give them the benefit of doubt and say okay maybe maybe like because they're on the show the show asked them to do it but it's just I would never in a million years like my friends wouldn't argue this way like we we do not argue like this and we do not argue and I wouldn't even if that was the case I would never in a million years think hang on I'm gonna pull out my phone and record my friends arguing or like someone ranting about another one it's just weird style and that's just because my but, energy is very chill but you for you like, to come up like, 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 so I that was also weird like because they have in the press very perpetrated and 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 uh, even the the couple of women that i've spoke to they all said that they were all friends before this and i mean it definitely seems like at least some of them were but the way mac just said oh i i don't know you or like maybe a few of them are friends and they're kind of like smushing them together or they brought like the wider circle in and some of them don't really know each other but i didn't think that was kind of weird you're like right now right now i'm gonna shut the fuck up i'm gonna shut the fuck up because i'm sarah 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 i'm 
to get what she's saying or something like that. It was just like funny. Like I'm just chilling like, what's going on? I mean, I would probably stick up for my friends too, but if my friends were worth sticking up for. Are y'all bitches ready? See, like that is such a like weird, uh, that's not even an explanation. I'm just chilling like what? What, why are we recording them? Like, that's so weird. <laughs> okay, so then we get to the end of the episode. That, that was pretty much it. That was the end of the episode where they're just like going to the bar and arguing. And I understand these shows, like they need to have something. And so they have this little like montage like that where it does at the end of the first episode being like coming up on this season, which is weird because the whole season is already out. So I, obviously I'm going to watch all the episodes probably this weekend and I'm probably going to do there's I think there's eight episodes all together. So I'm probably going to do like um, two, three, four all together, five, six, seven, and then do the, the last episode and like, you know, the season as a whole by it, you know, by itself at the end. So let's just watch this little montage. <laughs> Sorry that I'm stressed, but our friends are getting engaged. Puppy with her fucking mimosa and fan though. Ooh, wonder who. I'm not that type of lesbian. Should I have been watering a plant that's not real? <laughs> Mom, how do you say gay in bar scene? Okay, I do not even know a word for it because that's literally how much they don't talk about it. My parents thought that therapy would take it out of me. <laughs> no one is going to tell. Oh, see, like this, I am actually really interested in. I would like to know a lot about, like, all their backgrounds, like their fam. This, this, this is what I want. Yes. The jobs, like their work, their their lives that way, and and like family and stuff. That, that I'm really interested in that side. Me, who I am. God never rejected you. This is the first time anyone's put this on since she passed away. I'm trying so hard to not cry. All this stuff that's been going on has been making me more anxious. Do you like her? I gotta move with caution. Why? Cause she's straight. We've all been there. Um, that's good they need that moment to like try to prove their relationship is good <laughs> never been in jail oh shit it's not fun i think i wrote my fucking shit pretty bad yeah they told me you did they told me it's not drivable i think you're a snake and i don't trust anything you say that is so like high school is so childish when people start getting like that it like Triggers you. I don't the fucking steering wheel. Don't like how they treat people, and it's not okay. This isn't a Miss Congeniality contest. You come at them, I have a problem. I'm honestly about to rip a bitch's hair out, so she needs to fucking shut up. There's obviously tension. Tension. They're always fucking steaming some shit. Run like you always do, fake as fuck. She's trying to act like there's something wait, sinister wait, wait. going on. Yo, what's the conversation? We will always hear your side, but if that is not reciprocated, I will close the door fast. Oh, someone's coming out of that bitch. <laughs> so, that was episode one of Tampa Bay's. And overall, like I said at the beginning, I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would, but I, I guess I am like a pretty much an ideal audience member. And I, I even liked the way that like the filming was, like I thought they did a really good job like introducing everyone. It's a really large cast. So sometimes in the first episode, it feels like, and then this person, and then this person. But the way they introduce them, like I know they're like a big friendship group, but then they were like, oh, these ones are like more close with these ones. And then the episode was kind of split into like three sections. And it made sense that all these things were happening because Cuppy was coming back. So the way that like an, the L word is an ensemble show, I feel like this is going to be like that. But if someone had like a gun to my head and said, who's the main character of the L word? Like I would say it's Bet. And like with this, I feel like it's Cuppy. Maybe that will change. And they just set it up this way because of the first episode. But I mean, she also has a lot of, followers on on social media and then I mean she's a nurse she's in nurse practitioner school she's bartending and then she has this like fitness like weight loss thing like 
pretty fucking busy woman and I love it. Like I I love hearing from successful women this way who've like worked hard to get where they are. And I mean, like I said, I had a little tiny conversation with her over Instagram. She seems really, really awesome and nice. And I, I just, I really liked her. I think that she came across really well on camera. Not a perfect person by any means, but are any of us? Fuck no. So the one thing I didn't like was this whole like, you know, who is the best couple? The couple I liked the best was was the ones that weren't in all that drama. Ali and Nelly at the was introduced towards the end. They were my favorite couple <laughs> because they just seem really fucking chill and awesome. And I think there's tons of personalities and there does seem like there's gonna be a lot of drama. I, I mean, like, a lot of it has to be kind of manufactured for television. I can't imagine ever, like, arguing and even raising my voice to my friends. Like, especially, you know, I'm in my early 30s. You know, my friends have been my friends for, like, 25 years. And, and I, you know, we're, we're as close as close can be. But... We, we would never be, like I mean they're like throwing fucking drinks at each other and like shoving each other coming out of the bathroom but at the end of the day maybe that's why they're on fucking tv and I'm not so <laughs> I did again really enjoy the episode I'm looking forward to to seeing the rest I will say a, there was a quite a lot that came off a little bit wooden I, I do think, again, Cuppy probably came off the best and, and Allie and Nelly and a, a lot of the characters are people introduced <laughs> towards the end. I do think that, that that will improve as the episodes go on. I mean, I know I'm, I'm talking on a tiny YouTube channel and these people are on a fucking Amazon series, but if you go back and watch my first videos, they're fucking awful. Like you have to get used to being on camera and that only comes with literal time and doing it and it's you know it has to be a thousand times heightened for them where it's an actual camera crew and it's a tv show and and all these other things so the show i think that is going to get the traditional it's reality tv blah 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 and these messy lesbians so I just think that the more lesbians that are on TV, the better. And do I think that like, you know, this is gonna win like a fucking Emmy or anything? No, it's not. But it it seems like an actually put, a well put together show. I like most of the characters. I think it's going to be entertaining. I, I don't think, you know, it's it's going to have some deep meaning behind it. But at the end of the day, more lesbians on TV. I'm always going to watch it. I'm always going to support people in the community. I'm going to talk about it on my channel because just the more representation, the better. Is this show the, you know, something for everyone and the best representation possible? No. But there is some, like we are inching forward a tiny bit to have a reality show about lesbians. And I know that we had the real L word and all that before, but there's there's not really a reality show about lesbians on now. I'm very interested to see reviews and what everybody else thinks. So make sure to let me know down in the comment section, have you watched the show? What are your thoughts? And I will absolutely be back with the next couple of episodes very soon. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you get a notification once I post the next video. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a big thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias. Check out my Patreon, check out my merch store. And as always, make sure to stay safe, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.